I just thought I'd show off these VFDs. I've got I've just hooked it up to my power supply here. It's running with the ARM board on it. You can see there it's got a little uh, Atmel ARM processor, uh, RS232, little buck converter. Runs from about um, 8 volts to about 30 volts, no problem. It's designed for microwaves, so it probably takes about 12 volt AC through these terminals. Goes to this bridge rectifier to this cap. And you've got a little button converter here. Generally it's 5 volt and 3.3. The display itself uses 5 volt at around 300 milliamps. Turn it on. You can see the display works. So scan cook and then scan barcode. It obviously will have a very slight amount of wear on the display as it has been displaying that message probably for most of its life. But it's uh yeah, it also needs to put in the time as well. But um, it's a warranty return, so it means it's been returned within under a year for some reason, possibly needing firmware updates. Seems to be the most common thing they fix where I work. I've uh, managed to wire up three VFDs, which is taking quite a bit to do because I have put my wire in the loft and I've already got some bloody solder. Uh, <laughs> to link them together uh, so we've got bare wires travelling everywhere but you can see all three of them are working and uh, you barely see any uh, dead pixels I don't see any dead pixels or, un or significant unevenness when they're off you can just about kind of see a shadow of scan barcode on. it's very hard to see they also kind of, uh, you might not hear it in the video, but they kind of sing or whine a little. I think that's the, um, the heater filament. And uh, you, can see this, you might be able to see the scanning captured on the camera, how they scan the data on the screen. Uh, because they are row column driven. The kind of uh, matrix of emissive um, vacuum tubes. So these have to have a good vacuum. And they do. So otherwise they don't work. In a dark room. Oh, I see the heater's glowing. And they're off. Just about. Yeah. Because the shutter of the camera has changed. The scanning is now more visible. Fortunately the software running on these things doesn't seem to do anything other than say scan barcode. Um, doesn't have any test modes as such. There is a test mode, well, I'm not sure it's really a proper test mode, but you can jump in two pins on the module and the screen lights up full, full bright. Uh, so you can see if it's working, I guess. Uh, not waiting to the documentation, but I saw that online somewhere. Um, yeah, can't really see a problem with them. Off, um, and then you're in the cool down. Turn them on. They kind of fade in over about a second when they're cold. And uh, the picture, the, the current ring drawn is pretty much constant, no matter what the uh, image. It rises a little, bright image, but barely any difference. And so at 8 volts, although we're drawing about half an amp, so that's 4 watts for 3 of these displays, so each display is drawing about 1 and a third of a watt, um, so uh, they're pretty power hungry, what's that, 5 volt, uh, that's approximately 300 milliamps isn't it, yeah, 300 milliamps would be about 1 and a half watts, so. Yeah, these meters aren't very accurate, so yeah, I can believe they're drawing about 3 milliamps each at 5 volts. So, that's some VFDs to play around with, so there's a few more. <laughs> uh, but, you know, trying to connect all five. These three have taken me about 15 minutes to try and wire up, so... Uh, I've tested them individually, though they do all work. It's just, uh... Wiring them up simultaneously until I get some insulated wire. It's a nightmare.